So tell me about the transition from going from Seton Hall mm. to now being a pro. Oh, was t- I think that was probably the toughest transition. Um, going from college to like, yo, this is my job and this is all that matters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you start competing with guys you start competing with guys that have families, that have a different motivation, and they come out every day and they demand the best out of you every single day. And that level of consistency and focus, I think that's the toughest things like all rookies deal with their first year, being able to show up, because everyone can show up and have a good game once in a while. Mm -hmm. But the biggest challenge is, can you show up every single training session Mm -hmm. and every game and bring your A game every single day for Mm -hmm. 10 months? 10 months out of 12 months. That's the biggest thing, I think, in transitioning from the college game to the pros. So the journey starts, the pro journey starts in New York for you. Yeah, New York, Red the Bulls. Bulls. Mm-hmm. Then where does it go? Or tell me, tell me about the, the beginning process to where it took you. Yeah, so um, I was actually at school at Seton Hall um, and I got invited to preseason with the Red Bulls after playing academy with them. So I went there and I was still in school actually because mm-hmm. the training facility was only 30, a 30 minute drive from campus. So still lived in school, I was taking six classes and like I was in preseason doing everything and I signed signed with them obviously while I was still in school. So that was really tough because I had six classes, I still had to get this degree. My mom was like, yo, you got to graduate <laughs> before you do anything. Exactly, exactly, you got to graduate. <laughs> so it was like back and forth, like wake up in the morning, have class, go to training, drive back to campus. So it was, it was kind of crazy, but then graduated obviously in the middle of the season. Things settled down, had a good year, but unfortunately I got released after my first year at Red Bull, mm-hmm. which was tough because all I known was Red Bull, like coming up from the academy and like I was that that club had shaped me and it's still like I'm still a fan of the club, you know? Yeah. There's no hard feelings towards that. And then after that What's it like being released when you sit down with the GM and he tells you we no longer need your services? Yo, anymore? it is it's probably the toughest feeling in the world. It's probably one of the toughest things I've ever had to deal with. Man. Yeah, it was tough. You- you kind of get discouraged in that moment. Oh, I'm absolutely, sure. absolutely. I think my, my head was down, and I remember calling my brother and telling him, yo, like, I just got released, and telling my mom, and everybody was like, nobody was expecting it, honestly. I wasn't expecting it myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and But the next day, we got up, called my brother, and we went to go train. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, 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 was the, that was a way for me to get my mind off things and kind of release whatever emotions I was feeling at the time. 